Okay, let's see the information security risk assessment basics. Uh, شفنا ال security risk manager شو بيسوي and now we want to see what the security risk assessment is all about. We also convert it to vulnerability and penetration testing and we find that it's more broad. So we will look into the project definition, preparation, data gathering and risk analysis. Uh, risk mitigation and uh, risk reporting رح ناخدهم في السلايدات على السريع. So first we have to know what a policy is. So it's a formal statement. It's like a rule. Standard is also like a rule, but it's a it's it's something more formal even. يعني it's coming from higher standards, I guess. And the um, procedure is just um. Step by step instruction and a guideline is like a, um, it's like recommendations. Okay, and policies drive standards and procedures and technical controls. So, the policies be atina the technical controls So, first of all, we have the project definition. And what we have is that um, a key component is agreeing on the scope and the content of deliverable. So we have to understand what our budget and time uh, is and what our objectives are, what our assets, what are the controls we want to deploy and what our uh, constraints or boundaries are. So this is captured in the project plan and the contract. So uh, this is phase one, okay? في عنا project plan and contract. In phase two, we look at the team preparation. So we select the team, we introduce the team, and we also prepare the project by obtaining permission and reviewing the business mission and uh, lots of review we map our assets and we identify critical systems we identify threats and we determine expected controls we determine the expected controls in phase three we gather data to analyze so the most comprehensive is the longest phase and it's on site because collecting data, they have to actually go into the company and collect data by using interview, uh, by observing what they are doing, and by reviewing some training, some procedures, reviewing their policies, so lots of reviews. So we have policy, procedure, training, organization review, and this all falls under the administrative data gathering. We have technical data gathering, which is also lots of review, but we focus on the design, configuration, and architecture review. For the physical, we also uh, revise the policies and procedures, and we also observe and we inspect. So, uh, Hona, we interview, Hona, we inspect. Um, because we cannot interview phys physical objects. Now in phase four, we have the risk analysis. We have our data and we want to analyze it. So we have our assets and we want to value it. We have our systems, we want to classify it. We have our threats and vulnerabilities and we want to map it. We have our um, threat and vulnerability pairs so we want to calculate the risk. We have our risk, so we want to create our statements, risk statements, and then we obtain the team consensus. Okay. So we have assets. They are items that the organization considers valuable. It could be anything. And we have assets that are uh, listing, so we can enumerate it or we have valuation, so we can give it a, a value. 
So list the typical as okay, this is just a discussion. The threats are undesirable undesirable events. So threats are events that may result in the loss or damage of an asset. And a valid threat is a threat that is considered relevant for a specific security risk assessment. So it has to be within the scope. For example, a threat is uh, an error that will happen, uh, maybe human error. A threat that is could be a theft. Uh, sabotage is a threat, uh, malicious code, disclosure of uh, uh, some sensitive data, all of these are events. And threat agents is the entity that causes the threat or that causes the event to happen. So this one is, let's see, is event. And this one is the entity that causes the event. So um, we, maybe it could be a natural, natural disaster. And it could be a hacker. It could be spies that uh, cause the theft. It could be employees. So what are vulnerabilities? Vulnerabilities are like weaknesses. They are a flaw or oversight in an existing control okay, uh, that may be exploited by a threat agent in order to gain unauthorized access to the organization's assets. It can exist in uh, administrative, technical, or physical controls. Uh, vulnerabilities are very important in security risk assessment because they determine the risk. and all systems have vulnerabilities the security risk assessment team must assess the existing vulnerabilities and the ones that are likely to still exist after risk mitigation security risk so a security risk is a loss potential is the loss potential to an organization's assets that will likely occur if a threat is able to explicit a vulnerability. So this is a security risk. It is likely a measurement that uh, senior management really cares about. And it is a culmination of all the other assessments, calculations and analysis. And there are two approaches to deriving and presenting security risk. It could be quantitative or qualitative. So we have the quantitative. Uh, it's objective. It's uh, expressed in value. This is quantitative and relies on formulas and calculations. Uh, but it's complex, difficult to obtain accurate values. Qualitative is easy to understand, and um, but it is subjective. It relies on subjective measures of assets. Now, phase five is risk mitigation. So the risk mitigation is based on risks defined in phase four. The team must recommend safeguards or controls to reduce the identified risks to an acceptable level. So safeguard selection process, our issue, we have to map our safeguards to the threat and vulnerabilities pairs that we obtain in the phase four. And then we determine the risk uh, reduction caused by the safeguard and then we determine the cost and then we group these safeguards into solution sets. 
They can be characterized as preventive, detective, or corrective. So a safeguard is a technique, activity, or technology uh, to reduce the risk to the organization's assets. It's a preventative measure or detective measure or corrective. Okay, they are important in information risk assessments because one, uh, they must be considered when determining a system vulnerabilities, otherwise the risk assessments will re result be inaccurate and overestimate the risk. So if we don't consider the safeguards, we will overestimate the risk. And if the final report should recommend safeguards to lower the risk, so this is the key outcomes of the risk assessment. We always have a residual risk. The residual risk is um, we have a static risk. It will always exist. And we have a dynamic risk that may be reduced through additional safeguards. So it's the risk that remains after implementation of the safeguards. The objective of the security risk management is to accurately measure the residual risk and keep it below the tolerance level. So we have a tolerance level for the residual risk. And it is important to, uh, it's important because the senior management must must un understand that there is still a risk and making budgeting decisions and it should everyone should understand there is no zero residual security risk the last phase is the reporting and resolution phase so in this phase we identify the risks found and the safeguards recommended and we present it. We have a presentation, we have a report, and the report should have clear information about for the executive management and technical personnel. The executive must then determine the resolution, is determined by the executive decisions, and it's a key concept. So the risk resolution is uh, done by the senior management and he chooses uh, uh, to either reduce the risk by implementing additional controls or improving the controls or accepting the risk or transferring the risk to another organization by outsourcing or insurance.